Okay, so I've got a spreadsheet here and you can see I've got some Fahrenheit temperatures put in here. I want to convert them to Celsius. I want to add some tax here. And I've got some grades here of which the final grade is going to be made up of 20% of test one and 80% of test two. And I've got to create some formulas for it. But I want to show you how you can create your own function and that you can use that anywhere in the workbook and you don't need to copy the formula and worry about cell references and things like that. So let me just show you. So basically what I've done is I've created my own function and I'm going to show you that if I go equals to Celsius, you'll see I've got my one here. And if I double click on it, it's telling me the variable or argument that I need to put in, which is the temperature, which is this cell here. Just like if you were using another function, basically. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to press enter. Let's change it to 100. What if the, I change this value here? It changes just like any function or formula. And I can copy that down, which is very nice. I've got one for tax, 20% in the UK. And there's one here. I'm going to go equals add, and it's coming up VAT, which is what I've got here. We call it value added tax here in the UK. Double click, and it's showing me that it wants the amount for me to enter. Now, some others will have two variables or even more, like I've got down at the bottom here. I just want to point something out. This works the same on Windows and the Mac, except that on the Mac, I noticed that it doesn't come up with this prompt here, which I think is kind of lacking a little bit. So hopefully they'll get that sorted. But if you've created the function, you'll know what it is. Now, the good thing is in here, it says 20%. What if they decide to change the tax? Hopefully to lower. Well, I'm just going to go up into this name manager here. I'm on my formulas tab. This is where they are. And here it is, add VAT, click on edit. And I'm just going to change this here. I'm going to tell you more about this in a moment. And then you're going to see what it's all about. And it's instantly changed it. Okay, what about this one here, this grade? So I've got that called calc grade. So equals calc grade, double clicked. And look, it's prompting for two different things. Test one, click comma, test two, enter, and it's worked it out for me. Brilliant, isn't it? So there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of those and I'm going to show you how to create these functions. And I'm going to add another one in that allows you to use the if function and it can return either a calculation or text. Okay, so let's just get rid of these. Let's just delete. So it's here on formulas. You saw me go into it, the name manager. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete all of these. So let's now click on new. And I could call this to Celsius, which we had before. Don't use any unusual characters. Sorry, there's an extra C in there. You can use underscore if you like, but I'm going to keep it like this. The scope is the workbook. You can have it just for a specific sheet. I've only got one sheet here, so I could make it go just to sheet one. I like the effect that it will encompass the whole workbook. So any sheets that I have in here, it will work. It's referring to a particular cell at the moment. We don't want that. That's referring to B5 on sheet one, which is where we clicked at the moment. How do I tell it that I want it to be a function? It's something called Lambda. It's the Lambda function. And you might see it if you go into insert function, but actually you can't put it onto a cell in a sheet. So you've got to put it in here. So there's Lambda, a bracket. I now need to tell it what I want in here. So I'm going to say temperature. You can abbreviate things again. Keep them as whole words is a good idea. So you put in your variable or argument that it is, then a comma, and you can add more variables. And the last one is where you do the calculation. In this case, it's just this one here. So this is going to be the temperature. Temperature. So to work out Celsius, it's temperature minus 32. It's the Fahrenheit minus 32. And then you multiply it by 5, divide it by 9. 
put in the end bracket. So if you're used to doing formulas on the spreadsheet itself, if you leave off the end bracket, it will put that in for you or usually puts it in for you. So, but that doesn't do that here. It will give you an error. So let's just check this out. Let's go equals to Celsius and look, there it is. So I'm going to double click. It wants the temperature. Let's click there. Press enter. See, I didn't do the end bracket there. And now I can copy that down. And I can use that anywhere in this workbook. So that's quite useful. So let's quickly do this one for the tax. We're going to do this one here and then I'm going to come back to here to use an if function. So let's just go name manager again. Let's go new. Let's do calc tax, which is different to what I had before. Again, let's go lambda here and then we want the amount comma and then it's the amount times 1.2. And this is really useful because I'll show you in a moment. You can easily change this. Let's just do that. Let's go here. Let's click on close and then calc text. I don't have to double click on it. I could type it in if you like doing that kind of thing. Press brackets and let's just copy that down. Now, the useful thing here is if the text amount does change, going back into the name manager, I can edit this. Don't worry about the fact it's showing a value here. Let's just go edit and I'm going to change this to one point. Let's say they change it to 10%. So let's just do that. Hit close and look at quickly updates there. Let's do this one here for the grade because then I can take in two variables into here. So let's go name manager. Let's go new. Let's call it calc grade. Again, it is this lambda. Oh, sorry. I've left an apostrophe there. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I want test one. I'm, I can't put a space in there. That's not a good idea. So now it's looking for two variables and I can add more. And then what I can do in brackets, because I want test one to be 20%. So I can actually type it in there as 20% rather than 0.2. Makes it kind of more readable in a way. And some people just like that. And then test two multiplied by 80%. So it's adding test two and test one together. So there's another bracket there to complete it. Click on OK, and then I go calc. So I don't need to do the right case. You can see I started off lowercase here, and it's pulled it up. Let's double click. We go one. So you can see also that once you've created it, it's so quick and simple. And if you're using the same formula over and over, one, you don't have to copy it, worry about cell references, or typing it and making a mistake. A typo. We all do it. Let me... Just do that. I'm not saying that we do it a lot, but it does happen. Let me just show you here that you can use the if function. Uh, if you haven't used the if function before, I've got a tutorial on that. It's really useful. So I want to be able to say if it's over 212, it's boiling. And if it's below 212, it's not. So I'm going to use the name manager for this. Let's go, let's call it Boiling. I'm going to use the underscores here or not. Makes it a little bit more readable. And let me just do the lambda again. And what I want to do is I want to take the temperature again. Let's just shorten it. And I'm now going to use the if function. And I type it in. I've got to type it in. I can't just do it by inserting it. So you've got to know the function. And basically, is going to be if the temperature is greater than or equals to 212, it's working it on the Fahrenheit value, then it is, and if you want it to be text to appear, it is boiling, you've got to put it in quotes, or not boiling, and bracket, and then okay. Oh, 
wants another bracket in there because the if has brackets as does the uh, lambda itself so it needs an extra bracket at the end. Let's do that, let's hit close, let's do equals, oh look it comes up with boiling or not. Double click, Oops, let's get the right cell and there we go. It says boiling, it says not boiling, made a mistake there, don't have the space. So let's go edit and now just one thing if I use the arrow keys it's going to try and find the cell and put that in can you see that let's hit cancel let's just do edits and let's just use the mouse to do this it's a little bit annoying but there we go click close and it's done and when you save your workbook it saves all of your functions here so you could have a whole lot there so it could be that there are functions already for something but you've got your own thing that you want to add to it or you need to create a function and the great thing is that if you then share this spreadsheet other people can use it as well or rather workbook other people can use it too hope you found that useful if you do like it please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching and come back for more